We've just arrived at the flower pot pool, which has been the most productive pool that they've had this, this week. And before I dive in and like do what I did the other day, I'm gonna observe. It's really important that you observe first. Don't just go in because yesterday it worked here. There might be fish close to shore, you don't know. So have a look. We've seen a couple of rises. They're more out in the middle. That tells me that the, the hatch is just beginning. So I'm gonna keep my eye out. I'm gonna wade real carefully and not try to, to, to disturb the water. So this is what you first do when you, when you first come to a hole. Don't just barge in, have a look first. Okay, Bill, down beyond the, that tree there, there's one coming up there every now and then. So he's, he's most likely lying around that tree. Okay. So good chance you could catch that one. Okay, thank you. Oh, see I see him, I seen him. Right in there, yep. come on up. Got him. There you go, Bill. Got him. When they start showing themselves, it's excellent. Yes, sir. Now that was right tight under the alders there, so you got to keep an eye there. That's where most of the caddis flies are, are going to be when, when they're mating and, and, and uh, coming out to, to lay their eggs. Excellent. I don't know how big it is, but it's uh, it took a nice little, oh, it's a good fish. It's a good fish. Now I, I've, I've picked a, a bigger fly. It's actually a sofa pillow, which is a stone fly imitation, but we got such big caddis flies here. I wanted something big for the water and it worked. Yeah, it's decent fish. Just let it tire itself out. It will. Come here, you. Here we go. There you go. Nice, nice brook trout. Really colorful this one. Look at look at the spots on it. Let him go. This video is made possible by Fish USA, America's fly shop. Visit us today at fishusa.com.